In the following video, we're going to apply the general form, the vertex form, in order to find the axis symmetry and vertices in the following quadratics. So we're given first y equals 3 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 3. Remember, here is our vertex form, our general form. And what we want to do first is we want to identify our a, h, and k values. So a is 3. Jump over to k. k is 3. And remember, h is the opposite of what you see. You know, h here is 2. And the reason why is the formula says x minus h. So you are subtracting a 2. So h is 2. So now we go to our vertex. Our vertex, we're told, is the coordinate h, k. So that means our vertex is the coordinate 2, 3. Your axis of symmetry is the equation x equals h. So then my axis of symmetry is x equals 2. If I wanted to go further, I could ask, is this graph opening upwards or downwards? And since A is positive, it is opening, opening upwards. So let's look at number two. We have A is negative 3. K is negative 3. And H is the opposite of what you see. And since the form says X minus H, you know, what number are you subtracting to make this a positive 1? Well, that is a negative 1. And so h is negative 1. So again, we start with our vertex. Our vertex is the coordinate h, k, which means our vertex is the coordinate negative 1, negative 3. Our axis of symmetry is x equals h. So x equals negative 1. So once you get a quadratic equation in the general form and the vertex form, it's very easy to identify a, h, and k, and then to use them to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Now these two examples we'll go through as well. We have here x minus 5, the quantity squared, so we need to identify a, h, and k. Now a is the coefficient to your parentheses. You know, what number do we see out here? Well, there's no number there, so we, that is the number 1. Now, I'm going to jump right to h this time. It's the opposite of what I see, so it's going to be a positive 5, because I'm subtracting a positive 5. And k is what you are adding or subtracting outside of the parentheses. And so there's no number out here, so really that's a plus 0. And so my k value is 0. So vertex is the coordinate h, k. h is 5 and k is 0. So the vertex is the coordinate 5, 0. Axis of symmetry is x equals h. So x equals 5. And then last one, we have an a of negative 2. Jump to k. k is negative 2. I identify the h is the opposite of what you see, so it's negative 7. So your vertex is the coordinate h, k. And so we have the coordinate negative 7, negative 2. Our axis of symmetry is the equation x equals h, so that's x equals negative 7. So I hope you found this video helpful in uh, identifying your vertex, your axis symmetry, your a, h, and k values when having a quadratic equation in your general, in your vertex form. We will dive deeper in how to use this with transformations in the next videos.